Oi lads, it's Danny here today. I'm with Donny and today what we're going to do is a special video where we're going to basically rank all the different math courses from impossible to very easy. So I hope you all are going to enjoy this video. Let's get right into it, Donny. So we're going to start off with geometry. Geometry is quite simple, you know, you have a lot of things with uh, you have triangles and many other aspects. So I would put in very easy because there's not much to go wrong with geometry. There's angles where you have to find a certain angle or you have to find a certain length of an angle uh, of a side of an angle, but it's not that difficult. So how where would you rank it, uh, Danny? Yeah, I I'm with you on that one, Donny. To be honest with you, like I'm looking at it and it's a lot of, you know, it, it's, it's the first class where you really start using the ruler and, you know, protractors and, and triangles as well, you know, to do your angles, basically, to find the measurements. And, you know, it's a nice class, but really, at the end of the day, it's not very difficult. It's pretty standard, I would say. So, I feel like it's, you know, I, I would rank it very easy. I don't really see it being difficult at all. It's not very, it's not very mathematical. It's more, you know, on the measuring side. So, I feel very comfortable in putting it in the very easy tier. I completely agree with you, Danny. All right, so I'm going to do the next one. So the next one we got over here, lads, is Calculus 2. My favorite, Calculus 2. I'll pass the word to Donny. Donny, what do you have to say about Calculus 2? Well, Calculus 2, you go into a lot of aspects. You first start with integrals, right? Where integrals are not that difficult, but after you get hit with the series, and series yeah, gets a lot trickier. that's very difficult. Yeah, it gets a lot trickier, and it's very difficult. Yeah, I really, I, I really remember the the, the series part. I, I, you know, I, I remember doing calculus too. You know, it was a, uh, it was a pretty, you know, uh, you know, the integration parts are, are kind of difficult. I, I must say, you know, there's six of or five different techniques of integration and you know you know sometimes the integral that you're solving for is not very straightforward you're not sure what integration method you're going to use basically and then there's improper integrals which at infinity and not only that you got your series which is for, for me i had a very whole time doing them i completely agree with you but the integrals portion i consider it to be easy between easy and moderate but the series portion is hard so I would rank it in moderate because at the beginning it's not completely difficult. Like use substitution is not that hard, and after you have some other stuff like the area and the curve, and I find it's gonna be a moderate, you know. Yeah, I agree with you on that one, Donny. Absolutely. All right, so let's go to the next one. So calculus one, calculus one, you start getting inside the limits and derivatives, and you define the graphs. That we have to plot the the functions on the graph. You use derivatives, inflection points, and concave. Now. Calculus 1, I don't find it to be extraordinarily difficult, but I do find it's kind of moderate throughout the whole course because you deal with a lot of things that are different, and, and it's the first time you really have a hard course, and I find that it should be moderate because it's not completely difficult, but it's not insanely hard like some other ones. Donny, do you remember... Do you remember the un finding the graph of the function where you had to draw out the graph of the function in calculus? You remember that? Yes. That was pretty hard. I, I really struggled yeah, with that. Yeah, but, but that's at the end of the, the class, you know. It's not it's not the whole class, and that, part, that portion is not that difficult compared to some other classes where it's much more longer, the difficulty. Yeah, I agree with you. Now, you know, there's a lot of, the, you know, in limits especially, there's a lot of different proofs, you know, continuous, non-continuous, and, you know, there's a lot of proofs with derivatives and, and that sort of thing. I, I don't find it's the easiest class. It's I would say it's the first hard class I had yeah. to do, you know, and it really opened my eyes because, you know, I did other classes in the past and they were not nearly as hard, so that was a really eye-opening experience taking calculus one for the very first time. So I, I would rank it, I'm with you on that one, I would rank it in moderate. I yeah. find moderate is, a, is a, a correct tier to put Calculus 1 in. Yeah, I find it's extremely fair we put it in moderate. Let's do that right away, let's do that. Next is Linear Algebra. Linear Algebra is basically... Linear Algebra 1, I should say. Yeah, Not... sorry, yeah. excuse me. But linear algebra is where you go inside and you start doing the row echelon, the matrices. Oh, yeah, if you're talking yes. about. Oh, yeah. Then after, later on, you do uh, planes, lines, and afterwards, you do spans and other vector subspaces. subspaces. Yeah, yes. bases, subspaces, the abstract things. Yes. 
you know, at first, you know, those abstract things are very difficult. You can't really understand them because it's very abstract concepts. But really, what we're looking at, you know, the math is is pretty straightforward. It's some of it, most of it is basic calculation with adding, subtracting numbers yes. when you're looking at the matrix, you know, that sort of thing. You know, you play with the planes and lines, which, you know, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of difficult finding the intersection of two planes. And it, but once you get, once you get done, you know, doing a few problems, you know, it's pretty standard stuff. But as you said, the ending of the course is pretty hard. It's when you start touching the linear two portion mm. of the class, where you start getting to the abstract things, the concepts and all that, and all the proofs that go along with linear one. There's a lot of proofs, right? Yes, I find that's the hardest portion of it. But throughout the beginning portion and to the middle, it's not that hard. So I would put it in moderate because... You start off very easy, right? With the matrix, with the row echelon, and determinants. It's not that bad. But after, when you get to the end portion, oh my god, it's difficult over there. Yeah, I totally agree with you. So we're going to place it in moderate. I think I think that should be, you know, it's not necessarily older than Calculus 1, you know? It's not necessarily older or easy. I find it's the same rank as Cal 2, Cal 1, Linear Algebra 1. I, I believe it should be all in the same rank. Completely wow. agree with you. Now we're going with pre-calculus, where pre-calculus is before calculus. So you touch with the logarithmics, the trick the functions, trick functions, you know, you know yeah. and that type of stuff is not incredibly hard. The unit circle, that's very important. Yes, the unit it. circle. But it's not incredibly hard compared to the other things we mentioned with calculus and linear algebra with the spans and everything. So I would put it in easy because I don't find it incredibly hard. And some, some portions aren't incredibly hard, but they're quite difficult at first glance. But when you get more involved with it, I find it should be an easy. Yeah, it's like the basics of everything that you do next. Like, you know, your calculus one, your calculus two, your linear. It's basically the basis of everything. But I must say, it's a lot easier than Calculus 1. Pre-Cal is a lot easier. It's not even comparable to Calculus. It's a lot easier. It's like the ele It's like the preliminary class to Calculus. So how can it be harder than Calculus, which is the main class? So I really feel like it should be on easy. It can be on the same tier as Calculus 1 and Calculus 2. That's going to make a... You know, you're doing a great disservice when you start putting it in the same fear. So... I believe it should be in the easy tier. I feel pretty confident it should be under the easy tier. Completely agreed. Now, so let's move on with trigonometry. Well, trigonometry, when you first start it, you're kind of like, wow, what's this? You're the side, you're the close. But once you start getting more involved with it, it's not hard because you, it, the calculations are very simple and you use a lot of your calculators. So once you get a few done, you're kind of set to solve all of them you know what i mean yeah so you know you got your your three laws over there your sine law your, your sorry your, your sine law your cosine law actually two laws right and you know you learn your your basically you learn your sokotoa you know you learn what that's about basically and you at the end of the day once you start really you know understanding it it's not a very old concept at the end of the day you're trying to find missing angles and missing sides in trigonometry so it's not very complicated Although, you know, it takes some time at the beginning. It's not a very, uh, so this, it's not, it's not something you can learn right away. It's just, it's going to take you some time. But once you learn it, you, you, you look back on it and it's not difficult at all. A hundred percent agree with that. And I think it should be put in very easy because geometry is on the same level as it. And in terms of difficulty, so I'd put it in very easy. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I really wouldn't want to put it here because it doesn't really belong there. I, I find pre-cal was much more difficult than trigonometry. Uh, unit circle alone took me a while to learn when I first when I first saw it, basically. Right. So let me go to the next one. Well, we got a big one now. We got a big one, lads. Calculus three, my favorite. No, it's not. <laughs> Calculus 3 is basically a nice mix of Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Linear Algebra 1. It's a nice mix of all three, plus some older stuff, you know. It, it goes to the next level, basically. You stop dealing with triple integrals, double integral, polar, polar coordinates, you know, all that sort of thing. You know, divergence and convergence, you know, you still do that in Calculus 1 and 2, but you go into more of an extreme in Calculus 3, so when you're looking at Calculus 3, it's not very easy, I find it, personally speaking, I struggled with this one, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be, you know, it's easy for you lot, 
This class involves a lot of sitting down, opening up the textbook, and doing every single problem in, you know, in the textbook, basically, and reading non-stop, so, you know, full stop, basically, so, I feel like it's a hard class, so I don't really, I really don't feel like it should be in the same category as Calculus 1 and Calculus 2, that's crazy, as I mentioned before, that's gonna be a major disservice for them lot. So what do you say in all this, Donnie? I completely agree with that, because due to the fact that Cal 3, the, the triple integrals are not hard like when you solve like the individual integrals, but the problem is, is the graph where you have to see in 3D and to find the right bounds for the integral. I yeah, find it's difficult. completely hard. Yeah, I agree with you. With I remember that. the spherical coordinates, it gets a lot complex. And um, the beginning of the class is simple. Then it goes, yeah, it it goes not... mediocre, uh, media. Yeah, it goes. Uh, it goes at the, at the beginning. It's it's a lot of linear algebra at the beginning, yeah. right? Yeah, I remember. You, you go back inside the planes and you play with those stuff from linear yeah. algebra. So but silly. it's kind of moderate at the beginning. Then after it creeps up and it gets really hard. Yeah, I agree with you. It's not easy. The first part of the course is, you know, it's all right. It's not bad. But then the next part, when you start dealing with those triple double integrals and you got to do all those theorems and. What's that theorem? I believe it's called Green's theorem. Yeah. yeah. It's very difficult stuff. So I'm going to rank it in old. Enough said about this one. This one's a pretty old one. Probability now. Okay, so probability, I I, I think it should be in, in easy due to the fact that the beginning stuff of probability are not, it's not incredibly hard. It's just tricky. You have to try to first understand the, the wording of when they tell you in the question, like, exceeded more, less than, more than, and all of that, I think that's, when you start doing many examples of it, you get the hang of it. But the hard part of probability comes when you do with the integrals of probability, and that part gets kind of tricky with the bivariant, and it, it gets kind of difficult. I would rank it in easy to the fact that the beginning portion's not that hard. Uh, how, what do you think? Yeah, so, you know, probability, it's it's a wide spectrum, Mike. That's how I think of it. You know, there's some easy probabilities, you know, you know, if there's five people, who's, get, you know, who's wearing the colour red? Well, you know, if one, one geese is wearing a red coloured shirt, you know, and the other ones are wearing a blue shirt, so it's one out of five, basically, you know, that sort of thing. But there's some calculations, some probabilities are very difficult. For instance, let me give you, like, one example, even to Donny as well. You know, if you look at poker if you're a lot of ever familiar taking you know poker hands basically and a full house or you know a two pair what's the probability of getting a full house basically those those probabilities are pretty hard to calculate they're not very intuitive you know it take a long time to understand why we're taking them like that and you know use combinations permutations you know those formulas and you know at first when you first do them they're not that easy but on the most part, the questions are very standard and they ask usually on tests and in courses that, you know, the pretty standard questions. So I, I feel comfortable in marking it under easy. I wouldn't put it very easy, but I feel like it should be under easy. What are you saying all this, Don? I believe so. I think we should put it in easy. Right. Let's put that right there. Okay. Let's now go to discrete math. With discrete math... I find it should be hard due to the fact that throughout the course you learn a lot of hard stuff. The beginning you learn about the truth tables, it's not that difficult. But once you start applying English language and you have to convert it to truth tables and you have to use, you know, many things like the many more symbol and, uh, and afterwards you have to deal with the set theory, then you have to go to number theory, then relation theory. It's very difficult when you start doing those proofs. Let's say, why is the square root 2 of ir irrational? Stuff like that it gets very difficult because... You have to see it first before you do that proof, you know? If you don't see it first, then you can't do the proof because it's so abstract. Like, why is the square root of 2 irrational? You know, it's kind of like, how do you prove that? If you didn't see the, the example, how they proved it, you know? Yeah, so from my understanding, I've never done discrete mathematics as a standalone class, but... You know, I, I look at it from the outside in, basically, and I, I really say to myself, it's like linear algebra with a lot of proofs, right? But they're more complex, if I'm not mistaken. Is that true, Donny? Yeah, it's a lot of proving, and the proving get very tricky if if you have not seen it before. So I would rank it in hard. I think you should put it in hard. I'm going. I'm going with Donny's analysis on this one because I didn't do this class. At the full level, basically, right. <laughs>
So let's look at the next one. We got statistics. My favorite. I've done statistics. I don't know countless amount of times. It's one of the most. It's one of the classes I've done the most times, basically. So I'm in the best position to speak about it. Uh, I'll tell you something about statistics, lads. It's the the average type of question you get in statistics is very straightforward. It's not old. But there's some hard parts of statistics. You know, you got your hypotenuse intervals. You got your confidence. Sorry, you got, you got your confidence intervals. You got some statistics that are very old, you know. But you got, you know, it's on the most part, it's, you know, deviation, variance. It's not that old. And I feel like, personally speaking, I've done the class so many, so many times. It should be, you know, ranked in... I believe in easy, basically. I can be completely agree because it's not incredibly difficult, but it, it requires like a chi squared test. You know, it's it's basically where you put the information. So I'll put it easy. Yeah, I agree with you on that one, Donny. Okay, so differential equations, and partial uh, and differential. Partial, yeah. We're also including Laplace, right? Yeah, partial differential equations. Okay, yeah. I will rank this. In, moderate due to the fact that the laplace and all the other stuff is a lot difficult the beginning stuff of differential equations is very simple very straightforward there's a lot of different techniques yes. to solve differential equations but that even part for partial differential that part equations. is it's a bit simple because you have seen calculus is calculus one and it's kind of the repeat of what you already know but the next part with laplace and all the other stuff I would rank it a moderate. I don't know about you, but I would rank it a moderate. Yeah, well, you know, if we're going to consider partial differential equations, as you said, Laplace, that's a big component of partial differential equations. Yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, uh, you know, uh, some parts are easy in partial differential equations. It's like calculus too. There's some integrals that are very easy. You just apply a use of. Same idea goes for partial differential equations. Some partial different. sorry, so, some differential equations are pretty standard, very straightforward to solve. But you got some partial differential equations that are very difficult, and some differential equations that are difficult as well. So it, it basically, you know, there's a spectrum. But on the most part, it's not super easy. It's not easy, and it's not hard. So I feel like we should rank it in moderate. I find that's an, you know, an accurate score. Okay. So now we have linear algebra. Linear algebra two. Linear algebra two. It is basically <laughs> yeah. linear algebra. But with the spans and eigenvalues, and it goes more in depth. Linear than that. transformations. Yes. Oh my goodness. So I would rank this impossible because this is really difficult. I find it's different than calculus and discrete math yeah. combined. It's very difficult. Lads, this is. I'll tell you something, lads. This, if you think calculus is difficult, yeah, you lot have an experience in algebra too. This is a class not to be reckoned with. I must say, very, very difficult, very abstract. It's where math starts becoming very abstract. It's not very like intuitive, so to speak. So, you know, when you look at a classic linear algebra 2, there's a lot of concepts that are difficult. Yes, you get the easy LU decomposition. Yes, you get some standard eigenvalues, which you can calculate. But when you start doing the proofs, you start doing Cauchy Schultz proofs and all the different types of proofs, along with transformations and complex subspaces. You know, you're really looking at a handful, basically. And there's a lot, a lot of reading and studying to do on this course. They're not very straightforward. I believe so. And I think we should put it in possible. Yeah, I'll totally agree with you. I'd rather do Cal 3 any day of the week. Compared to linear algebra too. So this is the ranking we have made. This is our tier list for all the different math classes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you lot in choosing your, your classes for next semester, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you lot later.